Hi, everyone. This is Charles Hoskinson broadcasting live from warm, sunny Colorado. Always warm, always sunny, sometimes Colorado. So today's video is to talk a little bit about uh, something that was initiated today. Um, as for those of you who are familiar with how Cardano works, we have something called the Hard Fork Combinator, and we have something called an Epic. So an Epic ranges about five days, give or take. And Epics uh, are the unit of change in the Cardano ecosystem. The Hard Fork Combinator is the mechanism of change in the Cardano ecosystem. So today, um, a proposal was initiated and signed by the CF, Mergo, and IO to initiate the Hard Fork Combinator uh, and submitted and successfully accepted, which means a process has begun which will be adopted thanks to 135.3 now being installed on all the stake pool operators to upgrade Cardano to the Vossel era. Uh, this process is automated. No future work is required. So we're all going to sit back and watch the Vossel rocket take off. It's in the air right now, and it will reach orbit on the 22nd. Uh, so everything will just roll over, and the Vossel era has begun. Uh, so there's... No going back now. It's been initiated. 135.3 uh, will soon become the canonical Cardano, a new version of it. Uh, now, uh, some of the Vossel stuff will take effect immediately, and the remainder of the Vossel stuff will take effect to the following epoch uh, on the 27th for a variety of technical reasons. Uh, and that's just a natural rollout. So of all of you, uh, please do upgrade to Delis 5 if you haven't already done so. Uh, it contains a lot of improvements. Uh, sync times are a lot better. And uh, all the stake pool operators have already upgraded to 135.3. The exchanges are all underway and uh, looking pretty green. And some minor things here and there to clean up GraphQL and Rosetta performance and uh, working hand in glove with everybody. But in five days' time, we will be in the Vossel era. Now, a lot of DApp developers have already upgraded their code to Plutus V2. Um, some are already uh, running on testnet uh, pre-production, uh, this type of stuff. And it's going to be really exciting to see the huge improvements that uh, version 2 brings to everyone. It's been a long road. We're all a little tired. Uh, and this was the hardest one to get out, but boy, did we do it. And uh, it was a very satisfying day. I came to the office here. It's about 9 o'clock at night. It's Saturday. Uh, and we're uh, we're all just waiting with bated breath to see this one roll through. We don't anticipate there will be any issues, but there's no going back now. Uh, no amount of testing or anything can save us because the rocket's in the air. Either it explodes in air or reaches orbit, and obviously it's going to reach orbit. So I'd like to thank everybody who made this day happen, and uh, of course we'll do a little thing on the 22nd when uh, it all turns on, and it's uh, just another one of the many upgrades we've done together as a community. This one's particularly special because it's named after my good friend Vassal Dolvov, who unfortunately passed away recently, uh, and he was just a thoroughly good human being. And I hope that we can honor his legacy uh, by, while well, in this era, uh, planting a lot of seeds and growing a lot of trees. And I'd like to thank his family uh, for how kind they were uh, and uh, I'm glad we were able to immortalize his legacy forever in the Cardano ecosystem. We take care of our own. We always have, and we always will. Uh, and I'm very glad that he was able to teach so many in our ecosystem so much, and uh, he was a great mentor to many, myself included. And I'm glad that we are soon going to be in the Vossel era. Now, there's a lot more to look forward to that's on the horizon. Uh, in particular, uh, we're going to have, um, obviously, the summit coming up in November. The members-based organization is under construction. Foundation's flying in this week, um, this upcoming week. Talk about that very thing, amongst many other things. A lot of SIPs are being written right now. Um, and actually, internally, we're doing a big review of SIP 48 that DC Spark uh, proposed. And hopefully we can find a way to, to get that through the process. And it's, uh, it's a pretty good idea, it looks like. Um, we're also um, writing all the SIPs at the moment uh, to reflect the protocol design of input endorsers, which is a truly remarkable, impressive thing. Mithril is also coming along quite nicely. And I'd like to thank everybody who's been testing Mithril. You've done some great work there. And there's a lot more to do, but 
a lot of things like parallel epic validation uh, that's going to come to lace desktop which is the full node version of lace uh, alongside all the native peer-to-peer -peer stuff so it's pretty exciting to finally see that take off i've been kind of pushing for some other features like uh uh, partial delegation, for example, and, and it would be very nice to see Conclave come as well at some point. So we are definitely going to start digging into how to get that done, because I think that's going to dramatically improve the level of decentralization of Cardano. We're already best in class, but that's not a reason not to do better, especially with small stake pool operators and getting them into portfolios. So you go from an atomic choice to a partial choice is probably the way to get some more distribution of ADA throughout the network. Uh, so a lot of come. Uh, Lace will be launched next month at Rare Bloom's event, and that's going to be uh, cool to come to. Uh, if you guys are in the Denver area, do come to the Opryland Hotel and join us there. It'll be a lot of fun. And if you can't make it, maybe come to Scotland or one of the satellite events uh, or the uh, main event in Switzerland uh, for the Cardano Summit in November. Uh, so both of those are going to be pretty fun to do and uh, a lot to say, a lot of announcements, a lot of cool stuff we've all been working on, and just also a celebration of the community. This has been a very hard year for everybody. Didn't work out the way any of us in the space intended. There was a $600 billion wealth destruction as a result of the collapse of Luna, $600 billion, not million, uh, that fled through the market, and uh, all kinds of craziness uh, that we've all had to deal with. And it's been very fatiguing and very hard to keep up with the phonetic pace of things. The good news is that we're still here by every appreciable metric. Cardano is one of the strongest cryptocurrencies in the space. Uh, and uh, we continue to upgrade and we continue to have great vision in that respect. Our DAP community continues to build as well. After Vossel, we should see a lot of stuff launch and that's pretty exciting. So the next three to six months are gonna look really, really good. And we should exit the year very strong, entering into 2023 with lots to look forward to and a lot more for the community to sink their teeth in and do. But that's all tomorrow. Uh, let's focus on today, which is watching the rocket get into orbit. So congratulations. The update proposal has been initiated. The hard fork will occur on the 22nd. And uh, most of the features will be turned on on the 22nd, some on the 27th, depending upon which ones you're referencing. Uh, but in any event, Cardano is uh, upgrading. So congratulations, everybody. And thank you again to all those who helped test it. There's way too many to name. Uh, and we'll have, as I mentioned, a nice methodology now uh, to talk about for how we're going to improve QA and all these other things and the learning experiences that we've gone through. We had a big summit in Portugal in early part of this month, brought all the software architects together, and they're drafting a methodology that we're going to standardize the whole organization around. Uh, at w after we write it internally and we go through a few iterations, we're going to bring some outside collaborators, and then we're going to create an open standard around that. So you guys can see a little bit more on how we write software. Uh, we're pretty proud and happy of what we've accomplished, but it's always good to share that with everybody. And we hope that those standards can become the way that the DAP developers and the Cardano ecosystem also write software. So there's a lot of collective learning that can be done. Okay, I'm gonna go get some sleep. Good night, everyone.